Guys, let me pause this really quick. How do I pause it? Oh well, I'm gonna turn it down. But this is like my favorite movie. Well, one of my favorite movies. Alright. So, what's up, LG gang? How are y'all doing? Bad lighting here. But the point of it is the meal. Okay. The meal. Alright, so let me make sure y'all are posted up right. Alright, so I'm gonna do a slow cooker in my crock pot. I'm gonna do my first butt roast. Um, yeah, and I'm very confident in that. Okay, so I've already cut up my onion. It's one whole onion. Well, it was like a, it was a pretty big onion, so I just used like three fourths of it, cut it up, and then I am using the better than boilon. Um, if I pronounce that right, don't judge me. And it's the premium roasted beef paste instead of the cube. So I'm going in with the beef paste. I already put a cup of water, warm water in here. I've already have it on high. And then I went ahead and put two uh, tablespoons of, um, let me go ahead and put this in here. Let me, see. the ingredients say one, but I love flavorful food. So I put two tablespoons of the beef paste, one cup of warm water already in here. And then I took my whisk and I whisked real good just to make sure that the beef paste is dissolved. Um, and not all of it is gonna be dissolved. Well, the paste is gonna be dissolved, but you're gonna see like the ingredients that the paste has in there in your fluid, okay? So now that it's all in there and dissolved, and I am seeing, ooh, that's hot. Can't see putting it on hot. <laughs> all right, so the cup of water with the paste is in here. Now I'm about to add the onion. And I'm just gonna shred the onion all in there. And I did um, like chunky kind of pieces, uh, but you could use dice. I like doing like the whole pieces just because it savors the flavor. So I'm gonna put those all in there. And after I do this, I'm just gonna add some minced garlic to it. Yeah, y'all. This is about to. I already have a feeling this is about to be good, but yeah. I'm about to put all of this, all of the onion in here. And this is gonna cook for about eight hours, I wanna say. Eight to 10 hours. So it's gonna do it overnight. And then I'm just gonna put it on, not even warm. I think I'm just gonna turn it off tonight and then just actually uh, put it in the fridge and then take it out to kind of warm it up so uh, it could be hot and ready for tomorrow. So I'm just gonna mix this around. Ooh, those onions look good in this little paste mixture. All right, let me move this over to the cat. There you go. Because it is on the top now. All right, so I have that in there and going, I'm gonna grab my mints garlic and I'm just gonna put probably the same probably like two tablespoons in there well the garlic's kind of heavy so I might just follow the instructions and then just do one so I'm gonna put it says three garlic cloves so I'm just gonna put as much as I want kind of in there there you go that's probably enough for three garlic cloves. <laughs> All right, so like I said, I'm not like measuring the exact, oh, now this smells good. I'm not measuring the exact, but y'all get the drip. I'm gonna put a little bit more um, garlic in there. I need some more garlic. I pretty much use minced garlic on everything. All right, so I'm gonna mix that up really well. And then after I do that, I'm just put the lid on it just so it can kind of marinate up and through there. Yep, there you go. All right, so I'm gonna put the lid on. Try not to rub my eye, because my eye's itching. I don't want the onion and stuff on there. Okay, right, so then I'm done with this. All right. So next, I am just, after I did, added all that, let me put this to the side. 
Okay, and it says to prepare the roast. So now I'm gonna prepare the roast. Let me see if y'all can see me better. Yeah, roast, whatever. And then it says sprinkle the roast with pepper, whatever seasoning you want. Place it in the slow cooker, then drizzle this here. The Worcestershire, the Worcestershire, whatever. <laughs> this sauce. This sauce over the meat. And then we're just gonna let it cook for six to eight hours or until it's um, tender. So that's pretty easy, y'all, that's easy. All right, so I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna open this, cause I'm about to go ahead and season my meat. And I did bring gloves because I was, uh, I got some little gloves from the job. Shout out to my work place. Uh, because I know, not a lot of times I like just putting my hands just all up in the meat like that, but yeah, you know. All right, so I got my meat down here. Let me move you guys over. All right, I feel like you guys are cricket a little bit. Let me see, hold on. Loosen y'all up just a tad. There we go, there we go. Tighten y'all up a little bit. Okay, so there's my meat. I'm about to get my gloves on. And then clean. Clean my meat. And then season it also and go ahead and put it in my slow cooker. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do right now is just go ahead and open my meat. And then just, I've already cleaned my sink. Which you got, well I don't know if y'all seen it because the video prior to this, I did a clean with me and rearranged my, um, I always rinse out the bag because it starts to smell. But um, I went ahead and rinsed or cleaned out my sink during that time, so good time. All right, so I got my water on cold. So I'm just gonna, ooh, wee, this is good, okay. Um, I'm just gonna clean the booty. <laughs> mm. All right, guys. I'm gonna flip her. Get a bone in there. And then I think I'm, I think I got a needle, and I think I'm gonna shoot. I should have inserted, but oh well, it's gonna cook really, really well because uh, it's gonna be in there for six to eight hours. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Put it up in there. All right, so got the booty clean, and you can tell it's clean because all the water that's coming off of it is clean. So you got this big old bad boy. Okay. So I'm just gonna lay it back down, and I'm just gonna season the sides. And oh, okay, I'm making sure that was. Um, I'm just going to season all the sides in the top. The bottom really don't need to be seasoned, but during that, I'm just going to poke some holes. And flip it, poke some holes. Kind of makes it a little bit more tender while it's in there, I learned. Especially from watching you know, channels and stuff. Just to kind of tender make your meat a little bit more tender and get the juices going and flowing. You know, the juices going and flowing. Okay, so that is good. So now on to, I'm gonna, oh. <laughs> well, I don't wanna touch the cabinet with my hand. So let me get the pepper going and then I'm gonna get probably some roasted, uh, seasoning that I bought last time. I think I was at, you know, I was at Walmart. 
and then it's going to get, and just get up all in there, make sure it's all in there, that pepper. I'll clean this later. This one here, the roasted garlic and herb. So I'm just gonna put that all on there. Rub a dub dub. Okay. And then flip it and do the same thing that I did with the pepper. Kind of open it a little bit. I feel like this is going to be really good. I'm going to get up in there. And then close it and get some more on the top there. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. So, after that, bad boy is seasoned. Okay. All right. So, now I am going to, where's my little napkin? Detox. Ooh, it's, it's looking. It's getting warm. All right. So, after doing all of that and my onions and stuff, I am just going to make a little area to kind of move so I can place my meat in there so I'm gonna go ahead and put my meat in and then just sit it right in there oh my goodness yep sit it right up in there and I'm just gonna bring some onions and kind of put it over to the side a little and because I chopped up a lot y'all so okay so I'm just gonna put that on there and then it just says to I'm going to bring y'all over here. I'm going to deglove real quick. Yeah. There. There. Alright. So, it says, I'm going to bring y'all over here real quick. Hold on. Okay, so this is it. Bam. So, right now, I'm just going to pour this here. The Heinz over it. Shake it up really good. And then, it didn't well, it did state how much. Let me see if this is open, open. Yeah, it's open. Go ahead and take it. Oh, I'm going to drop this and not the other things. I would have been pissed because I just mopped it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to pour this over it. I know it's going to be hard to come out the bottle. I don't know if I'm pouring too much on there or not, but that's what it is. Let me see how much it tells you. Boom, boom, boom. I'm just going. But it smells delicious. Okay, it says spring, sprinkle the roast with the da, 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 then drizzle. Oh, I did. Okay. Worcestershire sauce over the meat. And then it says cook the roast covered on low for six to eight hours. Okay, so I'm going to put it on low cover it it says cook for six to eight hours and then or until meat is tender when it's done remove the meat from the slow cooker set the roast on a serving platter and tin uh, it with foil or tint it with foil strain and skim the fat from the cooking juices setting the vegetables aside and large something okay so I'm gonna do the veggies and everything tomorrow just because this is Sunday dinner and uh, yeah, my drills are that bad boy all over there. All right, so I'm just gonna let this sit six to eight hours and 
I'll see you guys in the morning. So let go.